I think I could land on the goalpost if I wanted to. <laughs> like I'm right up in the goalpost. That's pretty cool. This thing is so stable. Anyways, here, let's just bring it forward. All right, we have the sun over there. Another beautiful day in my neighborhood. And today we're going to do a little bit of drone flying. Well, today I'm going to show you not an expensive drone. On this channel, I usually fly DJI, Autel, Parrot, Unique, and other expensive drones. And it's a lot of fun. And then every now and then I like to mix it up a little bit and I'll fly those little drones that are under $100 that are like some people would call toy drones. Great for beginners. So in between all that, what is there? Bugs! Simply because they have a range of drones priced all over the place, just over $100, maybe sometimes under, sometimes over $200, it depends. Uh, and their drones are a lot of fun and they perform and act just like the more expensive drones in many ways. But if you ever compared the more expensive drone to one of these, you these would never come out on top. The more expensive drones would come out on top because, well, these are less expensive drones. But for the money, they are pretty darn good because they have the brushless motors, they have the range, you know, a range that you would use, a usable range, and they have a lot of cool little features in them. The drones that come without GPS will usually do flips, will fly super fast, will have sort of like an acro mode, which is a lot of fun to fly in. The ones with GPS have the option to turn the GPS on or off, like this one here. And if you're a beginner, fly with the GPS on because the drone just sits still and you can let go of all the controls and uh, you'll never get into trouble. And it has return to home and follow me and all those other great features. So in this video, we're going to check this drone out. It does come with a 1080p camera. I've used this camera before on the Bugs drones. This one here is called the Bugs 3 Pro. I've used one similar, which is the Bugs 3H looks very similar except it doesn't have gps and it does a few other things so this is the one with gps and as i mentioned this camera here is really decent uh, for a 1080p camera it takes really good video obviously there's no gimbal like on dji which moves this you have to manually move your camera set it before you take off and there is a little bit of a dampener so it keeps the jello out you'll see i don't think there'll be any jello in this i've never flown this one this is going to be the first time i fly this one but i've flown so many bugs drones that it's like it's second nature. It's like flying DJI or Autel or Parrot or Unique drones. You just fly one and you can fly all the other ones. They all fly the same. So uh, we're going to go check this out right now. I have the Bugs 3 Pro here. I'm going to slam the battery in. Nice little battery that comes. There we go. That's all you do. It's going to check itself. Check yourself again. There you go. It's going to initialize itself. Over here you should see a light flashing. I think the camera can pick that up. See it's going nuts. And underneath there's a whole bunch of lights flashing. It's very bright, the sunlight out here. It's because there's no controller attached. So turn this on. The light ceases to flash as fast. Now it's flashing slower. And this here symbol here, let me see, I'll put this in the light so you can see it. If you see this symbol here, that means you are connected. So for GPS, all we do is spin it three times once twice three times okay and then the next thing you do is put the little nose looking up and you'll spin it three times once twice three times the light should turn solid these things always seem to work so i could spin it 10 times if i want so there you go you should, i'll hold it this way you should have green lights down here and red lights up there we're all solid so we're all set to go so now I'll plug in the camera so I can suck some power into that. The camera should power up. There we go. It gives me a little red light. It's on. Took the lens cap off. Now I have to decide when I'm flying, which angle do I want the camera to be? Do I want it to be straight? Do I want it to be looking down? Well, I'm going to make it go slightly down. So that means I have to fly above things. So now the camera will shoot like that. Over here you have a pile of stuff. So here is my reception. That's my satellites. Uh, oh, I'm not in GPS mode. Got to flick this. Now I'm in GPS mode. I have 17 satellites. That's got super fast GPS. That picked them up really quick. Uh, that's my height in meters, distance in meters. And over here is I'm in mode two. And there's my power in the controller and the receiver. That's your take off and land. That's your start your motor, stop your motors. That's your return to home button. And this button up here is hit it once. You take a picture, hold it in, and you take a video. And these ones down here, as I already mentioned, that's your GPS on off. And over here is your headless mode on off. If you go like that, little star means headless mode, take it off. Headless mode is for beginners. It's, it's so they don't get, so people don't get mixed up when you're flying forward or backwards. Start the motors. And uh, take it up. Okay, there's GPS, so it should just sit 
pretty much get used to the GPS. I'll leave it there for a little bit so it knows that's the home location and uh, we'll go from there. So let's see, right now I've got it facing away from the uh, actual sunlight. Here, I'll just look down at my controller. There we go. So now I got it up high. It's looking at the soccer fields. The sun is behind me. So when I turn it around, let's go like this. Turning around. See this field? This field is soaking wet. That's not bad. It's looking right into the sun and look at the image. Well, the image came to my controller is cool. There we have a set of lights. I can fly towards them. I don't know how close I am. Where are we? I'm up there. So here we are going. I'll just go up a little bit higher. The lights go over them. Okay, that was kind of close. All right, so now let me get my eyes out of the sun here and we'll bring it down. Oh, I'm gonna hate this because I gotta go walk out in the wet. Oh my God. Look at it, it's wet everywhere. Okay, so let's bring it out. Oh my God, it's soaking wet. And I'll bring it down. It's so easy to fly these things. I'm so used to flying uh, DJI. Autel and like I say unique and paired drones and those all fly the same and this thing flies no different So if you fly this and then later get yourself a very expensive drone, it's all the same thing So now I'll just use some of the little features it has I'm gonna bring it over this way. So I'm in the Sun. There we go. The Sun will light me up There we go bring it up high enough and now let's try the uh, Follow me. I always like to follow me what it should do and follow me uh, it doesn't have an active track or dynamic track like some of the expensive drones. What it's going to do is it's going to follow my phone. So if my phone walks this way, it should walk this way. That's what I mean about these, these drones. It's like I've never flown this one before, but they're all the same. You fly one, you can fly all of them. So there we go. I just keep walking until I get someplace where it's not so wet. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's wet everywhere. So no matter which direction I go, it will go. And yes, if someone's asking, if I walk backwards, well, it will, it should fly backwards. It doesn't have any sensors on it, but it will fly backwards. If I'm going backwards, it will fly backwards. And will it keep up with me if I run? Should, as long as my phone doesn't fall out of this thing. <laughs> it doesn't have to worry if it loses me in the image because it's just following the controller. So it doesn't really have to keep me in the image at all. So I could run out of the frame. It would catch up to me eventually. All right. Another cool thing on this, let me just go back this way, is it does have the orbit mode. And the orbit mode is pretty cool because it doesn't have to orbit around me. It can orbit around anything. So, oh, now my shoes are really wet. This is not going to be a long video. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop that and I'll put it into orbit mode. Okay, so orbit mode, blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Start orbiting. So I would have to go stand over here if I wanted to orbit me. So because I told it to start orbiting over there. So it will just come around and around and around and around and go and go and go and go and orbit whatever was in the center over on the, the last location. So normally you fly it someplace and then hit orbit mode. Say this is what I wanted to orbit. This here goalpost. Orbit mode, yes, and it will orbit that goalpost. Now you have to preset the radius. I didn't preset it on here. I think it's only at five meters. It might be at 10, <clears throat> which is a bit of a problem. And also you have to adjust the camera yourself because if not, look what's happening. <laughs> it's not looking down enough. So, you know, you got to set those things up ahead of time, but it does seem to work. It's pretty good. So I'm going to take it off the orbit mode here. You get uh, about 15 minute flight time, I think is on these things. Usually most bugs are 15 minutes. The actual drone has a range of over 300 meters. So if I take the camera off, I can fly over 300 meters and control it with the controller. You'll have a good signal. If I leave the camera on, I could still fly that far, but I will lose video signal uh, because the video camera has its own little uh, device for sending uh, a Wi-Fi signal to my actual phone and my phone back to that actual camera up there. So they have less of a range. They're rated for about 200, 250, 225 meters. Uh, I believe, which is quite far, but uh, it's usually a lot less than the transmitter. All right, I'll get behind because I'm going to fly from one goalpost through one to the other. Let me get over here. Okay. Let's see if I have enough range to get to the other goalpost. Oh, well, this is kind of useless. I can't even have my camera's pointing down. I have to go higher. Hang on a sec. I have to go higher here. 
I can't even see that at the goalpost. There we go. Now I can see it. So there. So I had enough range to get over the other goalpost. I'm over to the water park almost. I'm going to turn it around. That's pretty far. And I'll come all the way back to me. I'm all the way back at that first goalpost. So I've got plenty of video signal. It works really well. Come on back to me. There you go. I think I can land on the goalpost if I wanted to. <laughs> like I'm right, right up in the goalpost. That's pretty cool. This thing is so stable. Anyways, here, let's just bring it forward. All right. I'm going to try a, a return to home. So home was over there, uh, over behind those bleachers. Let's go see how return to home works. Let's go this way. Now return to home works on this. If I went too far and it lost signal or uh, the battery was low, then I'd get a return to home, which is automatic. So I'm just going to take it over here. So return to home is this button over here. Let's try it. There we go. It's going up. So it looked like it stayed around the same height I was. That could be a problem. Hang on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I thought I was going to hit those. I thought I was going to hit those lights up there. <laughs> and now it's got to go over a tree. This is a bad thing with return home. I'm over here. I got to catch up to it. So where is it coming down? Hang on a sec. It's going back to where it took off. So it's coming down. It's either going to land on my backpack, always on my backpack, or the actual camera down there. It doesn't have precision landing. Let me just go check it out. What are you coming down on? No, that's pretty good. That's where it took off. Look at this. That is pretty wild. Why am I always so impressed with Bugs drones? That is pretty wild. Look at that. It took off on the landing pad and landed back on the landing pad. Sometimes I can't even get that to happen with the expensive drones, but the Bugs just did it. Wicked as can be. I'm impressed. The good people at MJXRC sent me this Bugs 3 Pro, which is basically a budget level camera GPS drone with brushless motors and a wicked range. It's a really cool drone. I'm going to do a super quick, fast unboxing. Here we go. First thing in the box is the included C6000 5G Wi-Fi camera, which has a range of about 250 meters when you fly the drone and you want to fly it visually with the camera to see FPV. Next, we get the Bugs Quick Start instructions. Inside the box, we have the Bugs drone and all the components. Here we have the Bugs GPS drone. If I flip it to the side, you'll see it's pretty thin. It's got the super powerful, super large brushless motors. You can attach the camera down here if you wish or fly it without. The battery goes right in the back. Speaking of the battery, here it is right here. It's got a nice little connection, a little bit proprietary, so you have to buy extra batteries if you need to fly longer. And it is a 7.4 volt, 2800 milliamp battery. You have all the components for the battery charging system, props for the drone, plus spare props. If you attach the camera, you must attach the landing legs, camera gimbal assembly, goody tool bag with screwdriver plus prop remover. Finally, you get the MJX RC controller and you must include your own batteries. Four AA batteries are required. Now we're gonna weigh the drone. I'm just gonna slide the battery in nice, not connected, and plop it down on the scale. 465 grams. All right. Grab this drone off the landing pad. I'm always, pull the battery out. I'm always so impressed with the Bugs drones. You know, every time you watch a video of me reviewing a Bugs drone, I'm always impressed because they do what they're supposed to do. They have the powerful brushless motors and they operate like the expensive drones and yet they cost so little. Well, they cost more than hundred bucks, that's for sure, for a lot of these. Sometimes even more than 200, it depends where you buy them. But uh, they are awesome and it depends what model you get. This one here, I don't know how much it costs. I'm going to put the link below to uh, a bunch of distributors where you can get it. Or actually, I'll put, yeah, I'll put the link to the, actually the MJXRC website. And maybe they have some distributors in your country where you can get it. And uh, you can go from there. A lot of people call this the Bugs White sometimes because it's, it's one of the few that they made in white. Most of them are black or gray. So this one here is the GPS model. Very easy to fly for uh, beginners. This camera, you could take it off and attach a GoPro or something else if you want to put even a, a 4K camera on here. But when it comes to the Bugs drones for the price and what you get and what they can do, they, uh, they work so well and they always put a smile on people's faces. And anybody who gets these as a beginner because they don't want to spend too much and then move up later to a better drone, they never regret buying them. They always have an awful lot of fun. And they, like I said, they work 
as advertised. The GPS is phenomenal in these things. And the camera's pretty good too. Once again, you're not going to get that smooth gimbal thing like a DJI drone. That's what you got to move up to. That's the only reason people buy the expensive drones is because as you go up in price, you're actually paying more for the camera than you are for the drone. So here you get a lot of drone and a good camera. When you buy the super expensive things, you get same thing, a lot of drone and a better camera. So uh, for now, I'm going to say thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Check out these guys if you don't already have one of these. Uh, if you know someone who's trying to get into drones and they don't want the toy drone and they don't want to spend a lot of money, then this is an awesome drone to get. Check out all the Bugs line. There's a whole pile of them. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.